We're here today to celebrate a great victory, a victory for all of you, for this community, and for our entire country. After years of shutdowns and cutbacks, today the blast furnace here in Granite City is blazing bright. Workers are back on the job, and we are once again pouring new American steel into the spine of our country. We are here today because America never surrenders. We don't wave the white flag. We only wave the flag that we love. It's called red, white, and blue, and it's beautiful. America is fighting back, and we're winning. We're winning. Look at all those cameras. All those cameras. Every stop, I got all these cameras. This never happened to Obama. This never happened to Bush. This didn't happen. They just follow. They're dying to see us make a little bit of a mistake. They analyze every word. They say, did he say that? Could it have been? Did he say something positive about Russia? I think he loves Russia. <laughs> Be nice to get along with Russia, but that's okay. But these people, they analyze every single word, and they follow us. And you know what? The good news is uh, we can get the word out. We can get the word out. And the word that I get out is what's happened to steel in this country, Dave just said, over the last six months. Even though we've been here for a little more than a year and a half, but we really hit it big over the last six months with what we've done. They were dumping steel all over the country, dumping it like it was garbage. And they were putting all of you people out of work. Now you're making your own steel, and the United States is taking in billions of dollars. They never say that. And also jobs. And also, we're recreating a giant industry. We need steel. We need steel plants. And to see an old, big, monster plant like this reopening, that is an honor. And I look at the faces of you people. I could be one of you. I could be one of you. I like you guys. I like you guys, I tell you. But I could be one of you. It's true. I'm very proud to report we have reached a breakthrough agreement yesterday with the European Union, commonly referred to as Europe. To begin lowering trade barriers and establishing a trade relationship that is fair, and my favorite word, reciprocal. Reciprocal. But the press said, I treated them badly. I treated them with disrespect. These are kings, queens, presidents, prime ministers, and a dictator or two. They were the ones that actually were able to pay the easiest. So I did a good job with you for NATO, but, the, you know, they don't talk about that. There were actually stories written about my attitude with NATO and they didn't say that hundreds of billions of dollars more have been agreed to be paid. And that was the whole purpose, because our country was being taken advantage of. We were paying anywhere from 70 to 90 percent the cost of 29 total countries in NATO.